Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and this one is on Nepal and Schimmel from 2002, of course. So we'll start out with Nepal, since it's kind of quite important, of course. And of course, here was quite a nicely done figure, well, for this line, of course. And of course, like all figures of this line, of which have a lot of some quite bulky pieces, and also a well, lot, and of course, kind of a try they did, but yeah. And as for the legs of which, quite nicely detailed, like with some nice fur line detailing, both for the legs and also, of course, a little bit for the toes and all, but, and of course, ridges on there, which, of course, let it attach to any Lego stud surface, but doesn't not clutched on, of course. But, and of course, just two points of movement, like swivel joint here, and also a couple of ratcheted joints for the hips, of course. And as for the torso bit, is like two piece, three pieces, like. This main body piece, which does have that little connector hole in there, enough to put this little soft armor piece on there, of course. And as for the upper torso area, is that as this like collar bit, also a separate piece that you can take off and whatnot. Although I've seen some people use that for mocking, of course. And back part of which as another uh, hole for that which you can if you can connect another armor armor bit on there if you wanted but yeah but as for the arms of which as you can see kind of similar to the legs but except the fur bit a little bit longer and of course hands that do rotate in and out like the others of course and of course on the other armor which holding the, his little ice staff, of which clear and also quite nicely sculpted with also with some clear, also clear to it, representing the ice of his dimension, Alta Sektar, of course. And this bottom part of which, with a few odd bits to it, or little prongs to it, kind of interesting, but yeah. And just like the other figures, slides in to his hand nicely, and he does hold it well. And of course, this piece also can look nice and mocking if to like for some ice figure characters, but yeah. And as for the head of which, quite interestingly detailed, of course. Like, kind of odd how the eyes quite are. And also from the back of which, as you can see, there is a little uh, slot feature for that where you can like push this forward and covers the eyes kind of oddly. Kind of interesting how that is. And also kind of fun. And now for a little comparison is with the Nepal standalone fig that I reviewed a few many weeks ago for Throwback Thursday, of course. Which as you can see, that he which quite different for that. Where like the body and upper legs and arms are in white and of course the armor bits in light gray instead of black and the horn things in white instead of blue and the goggles are in orange rather than brown and now what i'm kind of asking for is why have these two versions out at once and if i were like maybe let this version be the standalone figure and let this version be included with the shimmel or maybe not let there be this one at all and instead have the girl with the uh odd chinese robe if you know what i'm talking about it may also be a figure but yeah but aside from that at least it's still all right to have some bit of variety on it oh and also you did include the little grasping hand feature when, although I think he also could have had the staff bit as well, but maybe that would have been much, but yeah. But aside from all of that, 
he still well will lives up to what he is, but yeah. And that's it with Nepal. And now on to the Shimmel. Oh, it's quite interesting uh, creature, of course. As you can see, all this interesting body here, or I mean, interesting pieces to him. Like for all four feet of which are these quite odd foot pieces that you can use for some like a bomb snowman type of box if you want. And of course, some nice fur detailing to them. And just for these back legs have these like upper leg parts that are like yens but in blue so if you're into if you're a mocker you might like these to make like an all blue yens or something and that's for the front legs which which are three jointed like as you can see does have these upper bits here but what's also it's nice fur detailing to them and also same piece that Yens and others have, but in bright blue. Also good for mocking. And as for this body piece here, which has some nice detailing all over and also venting to the side and has six bits to it, or connector bits to it, which you can also find with the Uni set, of course. And of course, good to like add a whole bunch of limb pieces on if you wanted, of course. And as for the sides here, which are these smallish arm pieces like we saw on Yen's, of course. Probably to like add extra service to the rider, of course. Although in my case, I like think use it as like a leg holder a bit. And of course his rear butt also a connector bit. Which I think they could have added a tail bit to there, but if you wanted, but or you could add that on if you want, but yeah. And of course, do have this little seat area here that you can you know, rotate around since it's on ratchet joint, of course. There's, and also, also include with the uni and a couple others is this large armor piece here, and also in the kind of soft. Uh, bendy material, but yeah. Also a connector bit there, and yeah. And also for the neck of which, another one of the limb pieces, and also for the head of which, which is all exclusive to this uh, figure, of course. And detailing of the fur and all, quite nicely done, and of course, do have some nice tooth detailing as well, and also, this silver bit to it, not sure what it is, but what if, and of course, this like large lip going down, of course, and on the eyes of which, I think they could have had some print to the eyes as well, of course, and also for the top part of the head is, since it has another connecting bit to it, is to connect another one of these armor pieces, like what uh, Nepal himself also had, but in light gray, of course, but yeah. And now to fitting Nepal onto here is like, and he, of course, gets on and fits in like so. Although he kind of hard to like keep in the seat, of course, but what I do is I just hold the, use these arms for, as holders to it, so, oh, which I'm sure you guys I'm sure most of you would use it as well, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict on this on this set. Okay. So overall, this I think a quite interesting, quite good set for weapons, but like you get two figures in one for for one in one set, of course. It's like only time that ever happened in Galador, and of course, it one of the few box sets for the time. Well, although if you like got this along with the Uni, which could have some bit of fun, uh, mix matching pieces, making an all red shimmel or whatever. But yeah, and also quite interesting. Although I think the white Nepal could should have been included with this and let this Nepal or this Nepal 
will be the separate figure, but me, I can kind of forgive it, but yeah. And, and also, I think they maybe could have had a, another accessory or two for to this, but yeah. And so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.